A special cabinet meeting chaired by President Ranil Vikramasinghe was held on Wednesday afternoon. The domestic debt restructuring program proposed by the Ministry of Finance was unanimously approved at the cabinet meeting. The President's media division said all MPs of the ruling faction were notified on the matter at the President's office. This proposal is said to be tabled in Parliament. Meanwhile, the Speaker issued a Gazette notification convening Parliament on Saturday. We held a broad discussion on the debt restructuring program. This debt restructuring program will not affect any bank deposits or the banks in the country. A decision was also reached to allow a 9% interest for the provident funds. Usually it is the central bank that decides the interest for these provident funds. They assure that there will be no effect to the provident fund and that the interest will not go below 9%. <laughs> There was nothing as such. Some of them spoke out loud at the meeting, but there were no arguments. The governor explained the process of implementing the program. Chairman of the Committee on Public Finance, Dr. Harsha Di Selva, says all parties concerned will be summoned to the Committee on Public Finance tomorrow once the debt restructuring process is approved by the cabinet. We have invited the Central Bank, the Public Finance Committee, the Treasury, the Attorney General, the Auditor General, representatives and heads of all banks, the Provident Funds and the Insurance Corporation to the meeting on the 29th of June. All those parties are related to the debt restructuring process. We hope that the Central Bank Governor, Dr. Nandalal Veera Singer and the Acting Secretary of the Ministry of Finance will attend the meeting tomorrow. This meeting will solely focus on the debt restructuring process. The opposition leader has confirmed his participation. We will amend the law if any need arises for the people. We will submit the laws that need to be amended and will get the approval on Saturday. Then we will have to refer the proposal first and only then will we have to make a decision on how things will go forward. Meanwhile, leader of the opposition says that the president should announce the debt restructuring process to the nation. The president should address the nation and make a clear statement whether there will be a restructuring of domestic debt and if it is done, whether it will be a debt write-off, interest write-off or a combination of all. Whatever they do, the country needs to know what is happening through this program to the financial system, to the provident funds, to the working masses of this country, to the pensioners, to the general public and their own deposits. <laughs> The Freedom People's Congress stressed on the need for domestic debt restructuring process to be elaborated in depth while addressing a media briefing today. Now, President Vikram Singha is saying that there is no problem and the interests won't be slashed and that the banking system won't be affected. He says people won't be pressured because of this and not to worry about it. However, while saying so, he fails to mention the process. Let's take a look at the decisions they made. Parliament has been summoned on Saturday. The Parliament gathers on weekends on urgent occasions such as instances when public security is affected. As far as I can remember, the UK Parliament was only summoned on a Saturday to announce the war against the Falklands. What is happening? Although the President says nothing is going on, the decisions they are making are suspicious. <laughs> State Minister of Finance Ranjit Siambalapitiya made the following remarks regarding the Aswasama Welfare Benefit Scheme today. Three point seven million people filed applications under the Aswasuma Welfare Benefit Scheme to obtain welfare benefits, saying that they need financial assistance. Five hundred thousand people were eliminated from the selection process after the house visits were done, leaving the remaining applicants at three point two million. This process was subject to many conversations during the past few days, but this is not the finalized list of names. This is the list of names which is published with the data we have collected as of now. The government's plan is to go ahead with the appeals and the objections. I noticed, as of yesterday, there were around 200,000 appeals filed. 
Not just the appeals, express your objections on this properly and take necessary action. The government is ready to commit to that. Tamu agi kimi kena bahabanku, eh ini kisut dia kapi karan le. Kapa hari multi ani ne? Kira? Tadi tak seni karena di kapi katakan mula benda sati.